Charlie. Yes, it's Monday. <laughs> we are. Aaron, why are you here? I have an interview today, and it made more sense to just stay home instead of going to work for like three hours and having you pick me up. Yeah. So, I've been sort of slacking off on actually recording today because the whole schedule's been off. Yeah, I'm... I'm excited and anxious and nervous, and there's just, like, I have nothing to do because my hard drive died. Are you going to call someone about that? When Inu opens, yes. What the? It's they open 10, at 11. It's 10 o'clock. Well, ten, yeah, it's 10.09. Yeah, they like, they hadn't even 11. stopped hot topics on the view yet. But they're talking about some bullshit now. Here's the weekend, I guess. Yeah. What? Well, you pointed it, like, at my shoulder. Yeah, whatever. I know. But yeah, okay. Why'd you put that poster up? Did you just realize? I hadn't put it up and I wanted to. The poster way in there. Oh, you wait until I'm putting my taco together. Whatever. No, no, you can keep dishing up. This isn't. I, I don't try not to do too terribly official things. It's like, uh, no. Wow, what? I use it. Salad too. Damn, that's red. Oh, oh, that's that's in, that's the enchilada one. Hmm. Yep. Yep. That's the enchilada. This is the enchilada flavor. Garen fucking to you. This is the enchilada flavor. So we don't know. We don't even know what the other two are. Huh. In case you guys want to care, 855. Whatever. I'm going to go watch Black Box now. Dive shape. Whatever. I just realized I had a good time this morning to do everything. Got some stuff squared away with mom. Watched the... Did some stuff on Autism Really Speaks. Answered some questions, especially one about... Sound. I don't understand why people are not believing me about the magnesium. Probably because it's an easy solution. I'm about ready to head into Portland here. Go. Did my hair. Didn't get my hair did. That's. So yeah, I'm. We'll be heading on the max here. Giving my phone that little bit of a charge. That would help. Anyways, yeah. So I don't know what else I'm doing today. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I got my coffee shop review done, and I don't know if I'm hearing trains hitting like whatever, boom, boom, from like blocks away, or there's thunder, and I mean, I may be able to do stuff in the rain. I mean, my hair is all sorts of mess right now, but Jesus. I'm gonna go home and get something to eat, mainly because more and more people are showing up with umbrellas, and I'm gonna get a little peeved. So, yeah. I think Aaron and I, we have our cardio tonight, so that's pretty much what's going on there. We may or may not, I don't know, we need to eat that meat. I'm starting to talk about more random bullshit now. So many umbrellas! Uh-oh. I can see my own breath. It's time to get home. Okay, so, coupling with a encounter I just had on the max, this is not necessarily a jab at Aaron. I seriously think he's deficient in omega-3s, but he won't take the giant horse pills. And we can't eat fish that much because I don't eat it at all. So, but there are people around me that have normal memories. I have an exceptional memory. You know, it's like, do I keep the people around me that have normal memories because I secretly have some sort of thing that I want to be normal? I don't know. I just know that some of the, that a good chunk of the people, for some ungodly reason, that I've pushed out of my life because either they weren't going anywhere or they just were terrible people, seem to have some weird, long-term, forever and ago memory. And like, holy God, seriously, someone came up to me on the Mac. I have headphones in, I'm staring at my phone because I'm trying to. Oh, I was ordering my play, my exercise playlist because it had been long enough and I thought, you know, let's spice this up a little bit. So I was reordering it. Obviously, I'm busy. She comes up to me. 
she sucks me in the shoulder. It's like, what's up, TJ? And I'm like, I have no idea who you fucking are. I mean, I visually recognize that this is one of the countless lesbians that was in downtown Vancouver that had a kid and then decided, screw men, I'm done. They cheated on me and I broke up with them. Now I'm going for women. And I'm just like, I don't care about anything right now with involving this shit. And I'm like, why? And, and she comes up to me and I'm like, I can smell the stanky B.O. cigarette pot on you. You haven't gone anywhere in life. She started talking to me. She's like, yeah, I'm fighting for a kid, custody of me, a third child. I'm like, okay. She goes, yeah, I tried the lesbian thing for a while, decided to go butch, tried to go dyke, but you know, apparently that's just not for me. I'm on and off with that. I'm sort of like, bye, I guess. And I'm like, I don't care. I need to get this stuff going. And it was like my max it was like my max stop. And then it just like, I'm like, well, I gotta go. And like her kid wandered off down towards the other end of the max and she started screaming to high hell to get back. But the kid was not listening cause it's a toddler. And I was just like, yoink. <laughs> like seriously, I'm back up against the door and it goes and I'm like, Whoa. and then the doors close. And she turns around and like holds her finger up and I'm just like, bye. So then I made the Facebook post. That's what that's all about pretty bad when I'm in a Prius and I got one of those little car to go electric car bullshits and he's trying to like race me. Look at that shit. He's riding my butt. We got a hybrid and electric car having a little war. This is fucking Oregon right here guys. My bad. Still, I'm driving the hybrid and that thing is one of the, it's, it's full gas. I remember Aaron tells me they're full gas. They're just Tiny. They have like a five gallon tank. But anyways, welcome to Oregon. We're at Red Robin. The Blazer game's still going. We thought we could have like cardioed that one away, but apparently they're like last minute. I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're up in the hundreds, and I know from watching back in the 80s when, you know, things were still good, that there was, that the hundreds means near the end of the game. And people are, like, overly cheering, and there's, like, extra long timeouts and stuff, so I'm probably going to get some coffee and a burger. I'm not going to give it away. Okay, so... Aaron's here, we're in Vancouver, God forbid. Anyways, I should take my wallet with me. Yeah, peeps are all showing up. We're here at 336. I should look at my camera more often, TJ. So yeah, I get to go figure out what I'm doing this time. Probably get some teachings from Heath. There's everybody showing up. I mean, whatever, see more in a bit. Go, 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 go
go, Tone. Slipping on the whip ground. Oh, yeah. Our defense is out now. They are fired up. We're up by one touchdown. <laughs> in the last quarter. Aaron's up in the stands. Do you see him standing right there? He made it. Well, we're all coming off the field. We won. 20 to 14, as you guys saw with that thing, but we kept it, held it. I'll talk more. It's really raining, and I need to talk with Aaron, and we're going to go visit Brad. So far be it from our Pacific Northwest to make sense. So I was doing stuff. I was answering a question on Autism Really Speaks, and Aaron was, what were you doing at the time? Oh, you were just, you, you were tagging all your photos and stuff. It was just like, sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And I'm like, uh oh, this is this is going fast. Well, <laughs> I don't know what you're seeing outside the window there, because he has a window in front of his computer. Well, you like, do too. Well, I do too, but mm, not as not like yours. True. You're literally in the corner I used to be in. But anyways, and then it was just like it was just like psh, bright flash, and I was just like, here we go, and you get the. Then thunder came, and I'm like, yeah, it's really nice where we live. When there's th when there's a lightning storm, it's above us, and now it's bright shiny. Yeah, the lightning storm was what, 15 minutes ago? Yeah, something like that. I and mean, the hail's already melted. It was like lightning, thunder, or crack, thunder, hail, done. Not sunshiny. And it'll be like 78 on Saturday, and like 80 Wednesday or something. I don't know. Yeah, the weather's, it's spring. <laughs> so I said, I was specifically warned against a tie and I'm interviewing at night. It heard, Iris Pacific Beach one instead high and I'm inter interviewing inmate. I don't know. For some reason it's like crazy time. I think cause the lightning strike and the thunder people are like, we gotta go shopping, the end of the world yeah. is coming. There's a lot of people here yeah. for, so 110. For 110? Yeah. Anyways, we're waiting for the uh, deli guy to finish cooking up and then we're gonna go sample some bacon because who doesn't want to sample bacon? Bacon, 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 bacon. still has the jerky out, but I smell the bacon, 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 bacon. So we found the shoe section. Aaron needs dress shoes because we don't know where his other ones went and whatnot. So I'm, I have no idea where the dress shoes are here, so I just sort of walked in here. Are those dress shoes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> back up, back up, back up, back up. Mm, they all look like they're like borderline clogs. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little bit steamed up right now. I always do when I talk about ECT. Um, Electrical convulsive therapy, please read up upon that. It's a terrifying thing. Anyways, we're going to Subway while the sun's out. Because there's some gray back there that might come down as a... Holy, nearly flooding. Yeah. Yeah, during the summer, that's like a third to a quarter of that width. Yeah. Little tiny stream. That's Beaverton Creek. That is Beaverton Creek. Or... Hey. It's huh? Parking lot's not flooded. Uh, kind of amazed. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, we're heading down to Subway. Because, well, Aaron wanted Subway. We're still hungry. We still gotta go get pizza, but I didn't want to get pizza like hours and hours and hours before we cook it. Otherwise, we have to refrigerate it because nobody likes to leave out pizza for hours. Otherwise, then the meat gets rancid and the dough gets puffy. It's more or less the dough getting really, really puffy. Which is not that big a deal on not thin crust. Yeah, not that big a deal on a thin crust, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, we've already eaten. It's been 
four hours or something. People in 523 have been like slamming their door a lot. It's the only door in this triple hallway that actually, you know, slams. Either that or everyone else is very careful about it. Anyways, so I'm heading to Papa Murphy's to get pizza. Um, kind of barfed up some feels on Tumblr, but you know, anybody who, any of you who actually watch my Tumblr and actually read things I post, not just, you know, look at all my pictures and generally ignore things like people do on Tumblr. Like this wasn't a text post. I purposely hid this in a picture. Not in a picture, it was just like, here, here's a cool looking hot guy picture. By the way, here's some feels beneath it. Let's, you know, just check in to see if, you know. I hate social engineering like that, but it's something I like to do because it allows me to understand aspects of society. I experiment with people, I'm sorry. And usually they don't know that I'm doing it. Which is a benefit because I need a double, I need a blind study. You know, it's hard to be like, I'm testing to see if you're allergic to, I don't know. You don't know if you're allergic to, I don't know, here. Try some of this powder, what is it, arsenic. Uh, that kills people. I don't. Would you have eaten it if I told you it, what it, if it was sugar? Yeah, and you would have died. I would have known that you were allergic to arsenic. Allergic to arsenic? Yeah, that's not an allergy. Well, technically your body had a reaction to it, and by the definition of an allergy, eh. I sure hope that guy in there does not get fired. He's so trying really hard. And his work, his co-workers covered for his butt, and I have good hearing. So, I went in, large delight, pineapple and black olive, because we have pepperoni at home and we're gonna cook our own bacon. And then I get a cheesy bread, that's fine. So, he rings it up as a family size. And I hear from the back, oh my God, you rang that as a family size when he asked for a large. And he's like, oh my God, what do I do? One of the other guys comes up from the back and says, we run out of larges and stuff, so it'll be, can you, you just want to have a family size for the same price? And I'm like, he goes, it's more pizza, same price. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. I have a refrigerator, I can keep stuff like that. And then two more people, and then, so I, I'm like, okay, we'll, 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 we'll overwrite this one, I'm fine. I don't need to make a hassle out of this one. Then two more people come in and want to get family size delights or large delights. And the guy is like already in a panicked mindset that he says, oh no, we ran out. But they didn't, they have like four or five large left. And so he's ringing them up as, uh, you know what, you see what I mean? And I'm just like, oh my God, dude, oh. And he's like discounting them all because it did. And I'm like, I don't know. This is probably the end of it tonight. We gotta go home and get it pizza. I, yeah. I don't know. Oh, sunlight. It's reflecting off the camera into my eye. We're going to the mother of all coffee shops right now, in Portland at least. So it's Sumtown Coffee Roasters. Uh, it's kind of sprinkling, so I'm gonna run right inside. They've updated their facade, so I got a little lost because I wasn't listening to my directions because I got cocky.